Hey guys, it is Stasky back with another video. Android routing. If you are following my channel from the beginning, then you should have known this. I have made a tons of videos related to Android routing, like what is routing, how to root your device, when to root your device, why to root your device, and a lot of stuff related to routing. And this video is also one among them. This is nothing but the video to show you how to remove inbuilt apps or system apps from your Android smartphone. Well, by the way, I have already made an old video explaining, not explaining, showing the same process, but that video is kind of Old, there's not much explanation in that video so I decided to make a new video and that's this so here I'm going to show you how to remove inbuilt apps from your Android device before going into the actual process you need two things to do this basically the first thing is nothing but a rooted device which is must because this thing can be done only in a rooted Android device rooting gives you a lot of privileges as I said and this thing is one among them you definitely need a rooting device and non rooted device will not support this deletion process and the next thing you need is an advanced file manager I always prefer ES file explorer it has advanced options it lets you do a lot of routing things so basically these are the two main things you need to do the process so so now it's time to jump straight away into the actual deletion process now I'm going to choose a target app which I'm going to remove from my Android device well that app is going to be my default file manager I don't use this file manager anymore I have ES file explorer and that old file manager has no use for me anymore so I'm going to delete that file manager using ES file explorer I'm set now I chose my target app I have the apps to delete and my device is a perfectly rooted device so now it's time to delete the app before deleting the app you need to access some or you need to grant some rights to ES file explorer and to do so open ES file explorer and when you swipe up the side pane in the side pane you have an option named as root explorer with the switcher button and once you turn on that root explorer option ES file explorer has all the root privileges all root privileges will be granted to ES file explorer and after granting that permission just click simple click on that root file explorer option and it will display a lot of routing related options like mount options file options and before the second last element will be r slash the permissions this is nothing but the file read or write permissions and we are going to delete the file so we need a read and write permission basically as default RO will be uh, checked as the default option in the RW permission which is nothing but read only permission but we need to switch it to RW read write and after doing all these things it's time to remove the file manager from your device no, not from your device, from my device. Let's do that. You need to find the system folder. Every Android device has this system folder. It's kind of like the system32 folder in your Windows PC and deleting this folder will definitely lead you in trouble. So don't play with it. Once you open system folder, inside the system folder, there will be a folder named as apps. As it explains, apps, which means all the apps will be present inside this folder. This is a Cyanogen mod device, so all the apps will be present inside a subdirectory inside the apps directory. But in most of the Android devices, it will be explicitly displayed as app icons. So now I have to find the app which I'm going to delete. Actually, that's nothing but the default file manager. As this is a Cyanogen mod device, it will be labeled as CM file manager. Inside this folder, I have the file manager, and I am going to delete this file or this app from my device or else I can simply delete the folder by coming out of this section deleting the folder and deleting the app is not the difference it's the same so I'm going to delete the CM file manager folder long press on that folder then click the delete button just in a single step just within a blink and CM file manager will be completely removed from my device in the same way you can delete any kind of app you want or any type of folder or file you want but the problem here is it's not actually a big problem even after deleting all these files and folders there will be some leftovers in your device so to remove all those things you need to reboot your device it's just a simple system reboot and this rebooting is necessary to remove those junk files left out by those old apps and to remove some app shortcuts app icons from the menu drawer app drawer and things so once you're done with the reboot 
as you can see the app is completely removed from my device even the home screen shortcut will be gone within seconds and it's gone that's it and a final warning if you do not know what you are actually dealing with then don't touch any file inside your system folder it may break your device it may lead you to several problems like if you try to delete dialer app or the message app or some kind of important system apps like radio service gps service or wi-fi service apps then you'll be in real trouble you can't fix those apps unless you know how to flash things into your android device so be cautious while performing this process and that's it and that's how you should delete a file folder or uh, according to this video an app from your android device hope you enjoyed the video it's kind of long but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did so thumbs up if you didn't so thumbs down if you want to stay connected subscribe thanks for watching i'll hopefully meet you guys and girls in the next one until then it's bye bye from ATA sisters.